Hey guys, welcome to Lala Tips. Today in this video, we'll be filling this form and whenever we click on submit, all this name, email number and message of the user will be sent to an admin in the email. And before starting that video, I'd also like to say you that every Monday and Friday, I publish a new video. So if you want to learn more about Laravel, Vue.js, then you can subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon and you'll get notified whenever I published a new video and, and if you enjoyed this video then you can press on that like button otherwise you can hit on that dislike. So without any further ado let's begin the video. So I have already completed this one so I'll just guide you through the code. So let me show you first here in the Laravel project I have created this route this contact us route which is a post and I have created this contact us controller inside this API folder and if I go here so if you see here guys, we have this name, email, phone and message, this name, email, phone and message. So we are just validating those. So all of them are required and they are a string and all of them have some limit. Then we are just sending an email. So in this data, we'll get an array with name, email, phone and message. And we are just sending an email to contact at laratips.com. And if you don't know how to send an email, in Laravel then you can watch my video tutorial I have already made a video tutorial on how to send an email I'll also be leaving a link just below that like button okay so just you just need to configure the .env file with correct email credentials and in this video I'll be using MailTrap and if you don't know about MailTrap then I have explained properly in that video so you can watch that one so now what I've done is I have just created a mail here sent contact us mail so I have just done it like this so php so this pa mail is php artisan space make colon mail and sent contact us mail and this markdown is email contact us okay so whenever we do this it will create two files this send contact us mail this one and it will create a blade file and this blade file will be inside the resources views resources views emails and this contact us blade okay like this and I have created this pro public property data and I have accepted it in the constructor. And if you see here, guys, I have sent that data from here. Okay, this data is just an array. And whenever we create a public property over here, it is automatically sent to this view, contact us. And if we see here in the view, so we are accessing those properties. So this data is sent to the view and from that data, we are accessing this name, email, phone and message, which is actually being passed from this contact us controller. So we have done that in the API part and in the views yes part, let me show you what I have done. So as usual, we'll just need to call that API or submit to that API. Then I have just created this use contact composable. Yeah, this file come use contact.js. And here I have just exported a function and I have created here this form where we'll have this name, email, phone and message. And if you see here in the contact index, so here I have just mm, use contact like this. Okay. And all the data from the use contacts are being taken like this and they are just passed to the template. Okay. This form is what we have created here, this form and it has name, email, phone and message. And if I show you this one above here, so here, this one is, I have added B model in every one of them. So form dot name, form dot email, form dot phone, and form dot message. And let us also make this required here. Also, let me not make it required. Let me show you that I have implemented some validation logic also from the server end. So that's it here. And here, this loading is let's say whenever we are submitting the form before sending an API request, we'll show the loading, and after it has been completed, we'll not show that loading. Okay. And this is success message is whenever there is a success response from the server, it will return a message and will show that message. Okay. So if I show you here in this one is the message, your message has been submitted successfully. We'll show that message from this one or assign it to this and we'll show that and errors is let's say whenever something validation error occur. Yeah. So let's say from this one, then we'll show that validation error just below these names. Now, okay. So we are just making this send feedback function. And here loading will be true first and we'll send post request to this contact us API that we have created here, this contact us API. And here, whenever there is a success response, we are just assigning this message to this success. Okay, this message, okay, here. So we have just returned this message and we are just assigning it to the success message that we have defined here. And if there is a success, we'll just clear the errors and just clear the form. Let's say whenever we click on this submit and it is successfully submitted, then we'll just clear these inputs. 
Then let's say if there is an error and if status is 422. Whenever there is a validation error, the Laravel will send 422 status code. So let's say if there is a 422 status code, then we'll say here is errors.value will be error.response.data.error. So in this key, we'll get the errors, okay? And finally, if there is a success or error, we'll just make this loading as a false. Let's say if we want to get the error from the front end, then we'll just say here in the error, we'll just get as, a, as an object. Yeah, so we'll just get the value. And each object key will contain an array of errors and we'll just get the first one from there. If there is an error, we'll just return the error. Otherwise, we'll return null. And this key is name of that form key. If I show you here in this, this one. So if there is something error in this email, then we'll get from the, we'll get a response, error response from the Laravel, which will contain error as a key. And we can just access that from here. Okay. So this error value is from this error and whenever something error occurs we are assigning it to this error so we are getting the error from that and if that key exists then we'll get the first one from that error okay and we are displaying it like this so get error and name of this so email and here we'll get the phone and similarly for message okay and phone number and if there is a success then we'll show this success message we have also made this when we made the ui so i don't think we need this one from for now so i'll just leave it okay now guys let's say whenever there is loading yeah this loading is true okay guys whenever we are submitting the loading will be true if there is loading is true then we'll show submitting otherwise we'll show only submit and opacity will be 50 so just to make the button disabled okay guys and if you see here in the form yeah whenever we click on submit then we'll just call this send feedback function this send feedback function and we are adding it this dot prevent because whenever we click on submit by default the page will reload in order to prevent the page from reloading we are just adding this prevent so look at here guys this our view file is so much cleaner yeah so every logic is here in this separate js file and we can just use it anywhere we want so that is the power of view 3 composition api so now we have done this now let me show you how does it work okay so let me fill the form from here and let me just remove this one okay this one and if I click on submit, so you can see here guys, the message field is required, it is saying. And let me, if I remove this one from here, then if I just click on submit, then it will not let me. So we have just added a required in the HTML itself. So let me go to this view and let me just remove that one from here. And I'll show you that it will show here, this the error message will show here as well. Now if I fill the form and just remove these two and hit on submit now you can see here guys it this one and this one is also showing okay so let me again fill it and also you will see this here whenever if i click on this it will show submitting and it will look like disabled okay now if i click on here like this so you can see here guys and all the fields are already set and look here guys your message has been submitted successfully and we can see this email in this mail drive so guys here is the message and it looks like this okay and it is sent from lara tips no reply at laratips.com to contact at laratips.com and if you see here this mail view in the laravel project so it is this okay and in the we see here in the send contact us mail i have written their subject is contact us feedback so you can see here contact us feedback and if i show you here in the controller this is to contact at laratips.com so contacts at laratips.com and from where did i get this from okay this one can be modified from env file and this we got from here and guys you'll get these credentials whenever you'll sign up for this mail trap i have shown that clearly in my mail trap or mailing video i just recommend you to watch that so that's it for this video guys so this series is officially completed now as i have said in the first video of this series and also as i said in my previous video that some of the people were requesting some other features like roles and permissions and i'll also be adding that eventually you can just deploy this uh, in your server and just uh, make it live you can just make a sub domain and add our backend part in there and add this vue.js part in our in the root of your project in that way you can just call the api using the subdomain from the vue.js since i don't have any server or i don't own any server so i cannot show you how to add this in the server 
but whenever I own or I buy a server, then I'll just create a tutorial about that also. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy. Bye.